How to Save Money on Meals Out Everyone loves going out for a meal. Whether you are catching up with mates you haven't seen for a while, or you're going on a first date, a good meal in a good restaurant is hard to beat. However, with the stagnant economy having a huge impact on spending and social lives, it can be difficult to justify those big bucks dinners when you're scrimping and saving for all the other luxuries in life. If you're a dedicated foodie who just can't give up those gourmet meals, there are ways in which you can still eat out without blowing the budget. Method 1 Finding Deals 1. Use Social Media These days, many restaurants use social media platforms to advertise discounts and special offers to entice more customers to frequent their establishments. It could be a set menu or an offer for certain days of the week but you might end up paying a whole lot less for your meal, or you might get an extra course or drinks thrown in. Try social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, ScoutMob, etc. Many people use Yelp to read reviews of businesses, but you can also find deals on there as well. The restaurant may offer a deal if you check in on Yelp or similar app. When checking out the social media platforms, make sure you sign up for updates from your favorite restaurants or any categories of restaurants you're interested in. Once you sign up for several of these platform notifications, you should have a steady stream of deals coming in on a regular basis. You may also find online deals on a restaurant's individual webpage. You can also try online discount sites like Groupon or Living Social. 2. Sign up for email offers from your favorite restaurants. Many restaurants will send out email newsletters that include offers for their valued customers who sign up. These emails often include coupons and other discounted offers that can be redeemed in the restaurant. Go to the restaurant's webpage to see if there is an option to sign up for an emailed newsletter. 3. Clip coupons from newspapers. Look through your local newspaper for coupons for your favorite restaurants. This works for fast food and even for fancier restaurants who advertise in the local paper. You can find offers like buy one get one free or a percentage off of your meal. All of these offers will help you save a few bucks when dining out. Usually local newspapers are the best for finding usable coupons for eating out, rather than national newspapers. You might consider buying several of the newspapers to stock up on coupons since newspapers are relatively inexpensive. The extra cost for the papers could be countered by the amount you'll save with the coupons. You could also ask your friends and neighbors to give you their newspapers after they finish reading them. Then you could get the coupons for free. Method 2 Saving Money While at Restaurants 1. Order from the Lunch Menu Many restaurants offer fantastic lunch deals. If you're not fussy about the time of day that you eat your main meal, try switching the dinner menu for the lunch menu. Lunch can often be a slower time for restaurants so they're happy to drop their prices to fill the tables. Lunch menus are also often a bit smaller portion sizes, so that partly explains the lower prices. Even some of the best restaurants in town have lunch menus with incredible price tags, meaning you can check out top eateries for fewer bucks. 2. Bring your own alcohol. When you eat out, you often end up spending more on wine than you do on the food so why not slash your bill by bringing your own bottle of wine? Lots of restaurants let you bring your own these days, so take them up on their offer. You usually have to pay a few dollars corkage fee, but this will be a fraction of the price of a bottle of wine in a restaurant. Bring your own also means you get to choose a wine that you know you'll like, rather than picking from a menu of wines that you have never tried. Make sure you approve this with the restaurant ahead of time, because not all restaurants allow you to bring your own. It could be embarrassing if you bring your own wine to a place that doesn't have a BYOB policy in place. 3. Get it to go. Some restaurants offer cheaper takeaway options at a discounted price since they aren't serving you. When you opt to forego eating in the restaurant, this leaves the tables open for other paying customers, so the restaurant can make more money. This also means that you can save even more money by buying drinks at home instead of at the restaurant. You can try calling around to see what restaurants offer these kinds of discounts. This also means you save on a tip, since you won't have a server, you may still want to leave a small tip to be passed on to those in the kitchen, however. 4. Look for last-minute opportunities. If you fancy a last-minute meal then you might be in luck in restaurants that have lots of empty tables. Some restaurants offer daily deals to entice people in from the street and you might be lucky to spot something great as you're walking past. It could be a two-course set meal or a limited choice from the a la carte menu, but
but if you like what you see then you can duck inside and save a fortune. Some of these daily deals include a glass of wine or even a half bottle of wine with each meal ordered so you really can grab a bargain. This can be a great way of discovering a new restaurant or trying out a place that is usually too pricey for your modest budget. 5. Eat before you go out. Another way to save money when dining at a restaurant is by eating something at home before you head to the restaurant. That way you won't be starving at the restaurant, so you won't have to break the bank to satiate your hunger. This gives you the best of both worlds a cheap meal at home, saving money, and a small fancy meal at a restaurant so you can still enjoy the experience of dining out. Method 3 Eating Cheaply 1. Avoid red meat Red meat is notorious for being pricier than other types of meat like chicken or turkey. Try to avoid red meat or, instead, order cheaper cuts of meat when possible, like beef brisket or chicken thighs. Vegetarian options are also usually cheaper when dining out. 2. Share an entree Most restaurants serve portions that are way more than what one person needs for a single meal. And while it can be nice to have leftovers to take home, it's also nice to have a cheaper bill in the restaurant. Split an entree with the person you're dining with so that you both save a little money. Sometimes restaurants issue a charge for splitting an entree, but it will still probably end up costing less than ordering a whole second meal. You can also split appetizers, sides, and dessert with your dining companions. 3. Skip the drinks. Drinks are always expensive at restaurants, especially if you're considering an alcoholic beverage. One way to cut down seriously on your bill is by refraining from the fancy drinks, alcoholic or otherwise. Order water instead. Most restaurants, even fast food chains, will let you have water for free with your meal.